Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take this image and bam, okay, we're going to look at the color auto feature. And if you're looking at the length of this video and you're like, is he just going to click the auto? That's basically what I'm going to do. Uh, but I'm also going to explain what it does. We're also going to look at the differences sometimes between JPEGs and RAW files, temperature versus Kelvin. We'll look at the drop downs in these. Some images have lots of presets, some of them don't. Some useful information for those people new to white balance. All right, let's jump in. All right, before we go any further, a uh, little side note, I went to another car show on the weekend. That's why my Lightroom is gonna be full of cars. And you'll be like, you didn't have cars in it in the last video. Um, so yeah, they'll be here. I might throw them into the later in the course. There might be too many cars in this video already. But um, the cool thing about oh, the weekend was, well, it sucked because it was raining, but raindrops are really cool to edit. Okay, uh, plain car, oh, nice car. If only those people would get out of the way. Anyway, uh, so what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna bring it in, we're gonna ignore the cars and bring in two images. So P, bring up photos, let's add those photos. And we've got a new folder in your exercise files called 04 color corrections. Let's open that up and bring in these two images, color 01 and color 02. Okay, let's bring them both in. We're gonna work on color 01. And yes, I've already thrown one of the images in. Whoops. <laughs> but it's a good example here. So let's open up this one, D, to make it nice and big. Now the auto feature is pretty easy to use. So it's under color, uh, sorry, it's under edit. And then I like to remember to wheel these down. Okay, so I can just see color on its own. And then as shot is just as you shot it with your camera. Okay, the white balance you set there. Okay, and you have an option that says auto. Okay, so click on auto, and then let's turn the eyeball on and off. And the computer has decided that it needs to be a tiny bit warmer, a little bit, just plus one, and it's been minus 15 for the tint. Okay, so it's just gone, pushed it a little bit to the green. So do I like it? on off on off i find all of the awesome stuff that lightroom does in terms of the automatic stuff i love color and the white balance is one of those things where i don't know if it's me being like a squishy brain human and going hey computer what do you know okay <laughs> i always go i always click auto just to see what it thinks why is it judging my uh in camera white balance settings which is more often set to auto anyway Okay, um, but I do it, I check what it is, and I'm like, hmm, it kind of informs my decision before I start dragging it. I go, okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit warmer, and I'm gonna make it a little bit further this way, too far, okay? And you can see it's changed to custom. So I often start with auto, and it just gives me a kind of, a, you know, an indication of where I'm gonna go, or where I might should go, and I might, might should go, and there you go. You understand what I mean, okay, good starting point. Now the other thing I wanna mention in here is that we've got temperature in this one here, like default, you know, the auto setting said, all right, you be uh, plus three. Let's open that other image. I'm gonna use my arrow key and go back one, okay, just to toggle to the other image, or remember, hit G, and just double click the one you wanna open. So the difference between a JPEG Okay, which is this image here, I'm using my arrow keys, the right arrow, left, right. Okay, so the difference between JPEGs and uh, raw files often is you'll get just different options uh, over here. Can you see this one is shot in what's called Kelvin? Okay, so it's giving me my Kelvin settings. It's more sciencey. Kelvin is like the unit of measurement for temperature and the camera, or at least the raw file, has the Kelvin information. So it gives it to you here. And if you do know a little bit about light and you know what like daylight Kelvin is, and that's right in the middle there, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't change it, but it's gonna be, it might be confusing if you open up some images and like this one here, uh, you're given just numbers because it doesn't know what the Kelvin was. So it just goes plus three of whatever it was. Whereas this one here, because it's a raw file, is actually recording a lot more of the temperature information, including what Kelvin it was set to as shot. I can always, I can go over it just like the other one, but there you go, that's why you'll have two. All right, let's see what auto does here. Okay, before, after, warms it up. Okay, moves the Kelvin up, and it hasn't adjusted the tint. There you go, left it alone. The one thing you will do as well is that you won't often start with color and go to auto. Okay, you'll do tone first. So I'm gonna go back to that other image using my right arrow key. And what I'll do, it doesn't matter which order you do it in, but you'll probably find that it's better to go, let's say I wanna do auto for, auto does, uh, does light and it does a tiny bit of color, but not temperature and tint. Watch this, if I click it, did something for vibrance. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why, it does everything in light. So let's undo that. 
Okay, so if I hit auto, we've looked at this earlier, right? If I hit auto, it goes and adjusts our uh, light sliders. It does a little bit to vibrance, which is cool. It doesn't touch tint and temperature. You do that separately. So what you can do is I'm going to reset it all. Who remembers how to reset everything? Go right back to the beginning. That's right. Command R on a Mac, Control R on a PC. Just reset everything. And what you can do is you can just open up an image, go auto, auto, and that might be enough. You can see here before, after, pretty good result. One other thing I want to show you is here on this JPEG image. Okay, remember temperature is just done in the numbers here. The other thing is the drop down menu here is a little lot shorter. You've got as shot and auto. Okay, and custom is just when you start dragging it on your own. But let's have a look back at this car here. Okay, and let's have a look at the drop down. Remember, this is a raw image, and you can see here there's a lot more options in here. It's just because there is Kelvin information, it's going to give you options to say, hey, let's make this a cloudy shot. Okay, can you see here? It's basically balancing out a cloudy shot and kind of raising the Kelvin up. So I'm going to hover above them. The editor will zoom in so you can see that Kelvin number changing. Okay, you can see it drops all the way down, okay, to kind of counteract what would be done in tungsten. Tungsten uh, uh, lights, really uh, kind of orangey lights. So to counteract that, they'll make it bluer. That's why this image is blue. So that's what it's doing. If you've shot cloudy, it's going to raise the Kelvin to make it warmer, to counteract the cloudiness. In the daylight here as well, like these are just, yeah, just... Work your way through them. A little helpful use or a little shortcut for them is let's say that you're looking at this, you're like, does it look any different? I don't know, because it's hard to go back to a shot cloudy, a shot cloudy. <laughs> okay, you can actually hold down the uh, option key. Okay, let's get one that's more obvious, like, yeah, tungsten. Okay, so hold down the option key and it toggles back. Can you see the edit will zoom in again? Thanks, Jason. Uh, to the auto um, versus, uh, see, so you, you can see there. And let's go back to as shot. So that's the before. And then tungsten, if I hover above it and hit the option key, it just toggles it back and forth. Man, I made a meal of that. What do you reckon? Okay, so have a look through these. And if you want to see what it looked like before, just hold the option key on a Mac. Alt key on a PC and it just toggles between the two. That's handy. You can kind of see what it's doing over here in terms of the tint and temperature as well, which is fun. All right, that is it. Automatic features, some of the drop downs why JPEGs are different than RAW files, and auto can be awesome, especially as a starting point before you get all fussy and just drag it one or two more points along. Take that, computer. <laughs> all right, that is it. I will see you in the next video. All right, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. It helps me out. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel because there's lots more Lightroom content where that came from. Uh, if you are sitting there thinking, though, I wish you'd just do a course, you know, take me from zero to hero all the way through Lightroom and show me everything. Oh, you're in luck. Uh, I've got something called the Lightroom Essentials course. There'll be a link to it in the description here. Uh, so check that out if you want to go from zero to hero in Lightroom. But for now, carry on. Like and subscribe.